Alright guys, welcome back to my channel today. It's been a while, but I am back with my match previews. Um, today, obviously by the title, I am previewing Hibernian vs Aberdeen, which is taking place tomorrow. Now, this is um, a game which I don't really know what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, obviously... Aberdeen are in a situation which I never thought I'd find us. I never thought I'd find Aberdeen in. We have just lost um, to a club five tiers below us in Scottish football, and um, we also came off the back of a five nil defeat away at Tynecastle. So this game, and to add to it, Goodwin's not been sacked. So, this game is probably our biggest game this season. Not in terms of the team we're playing, in terms of the stakes. If we don't win, I think Goodwin has to go. Because according to a statement from Cormac, which was put, Dave Cormac, which was put out uh, like two or three days ago. Or maybe even, yeah, I can't remember, but... According to um, Cormac's statement, Aberdeen, the players and the manager will give a response. Now, if that's true, hopefully we'll beat Hibs tomorrow. If it's false, good, and if we get beat tomorrow, Goodwin has to go. Because one thing I find slightly unfair is um, Stephen Glass got sacked for us getting beat by Motherwell, even though we were on a very poor run of form leading up to that. Goodwin, Aber Aberdeen have just been, uh, sorry, Aberdeen have just probably had our worst defeat in our club's history, not in terms of the scoreline, but in terms of the team who we got beat by, and Goodwin's still on the job. It's a bit, it's quite um, embarrassing to be an Aberdeen fan, but it's also extremely unfair in my opinion, because I'm kind of feeling a bit, I've kind of got a bit of sympathy for Stephen Glass because, well, he got sacked for getting beat by Motherwell and Goodwin survives after getting beat by a team who I'd only ever heard of until then and back in the last year when I found out who we were facing in the draw. So it's a bit hard to explain like my feelings going into this game because, like I said, Probably the weirdest game I've. I, oh, I didn't, actually, no, I didn't say that. Apologies. I'll say it now, but this is probably the weirdest game I've like gone into as an Aberdeen fan because the stakes have never been like this before. We've just lost a game which I don't. I'm gonna stop talking about that, otherwise, I'm just gonna run on about it. Um. And we still have our manager, so it's I don't because like like it's also weird because I don't know how we're gonna play. This is a game which I have no idea what's gonna happen. I'm not even gonna make a score prediction because I just can't tell what's gonna happen. Are we gonna win? Are we gonna lose? Are the players gonna go out and rip them apart? Are the players gonna go out and do their usual sit back and get beat? I don't know, but Hibs. If I'm being honest, are probably in the situation where we should be beating them. They, I believe Nisbet has gone to Millwall, I think it was, today. Um, so that's Hibs without their main man. Um, they obviously just got beat 3-0 by Hearts in the Scottish Cup. So I do feel like after watching them against Hearts and after w watching Hibs in previous games... Even though, this, despite the, the the state of Aberdeen right now, I think I will be extremely embarrassed if we get beat by them tomorrow because they, could, sorry, because Hibs are pretty poor at the moment. They played all right against Hearts, but you could just say it was a cup tie. They as a cup when it comes to a cup tie, all form goes out the window. You just focus on the game. I just don't see how Aberdeen should be getting beat by this team. But like I said, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. My match reaction, I'm not going to the game because um, 
my dad's working. So, oh, that, I don't know if you can hear it. It's just a beeping that's been going on in my loft. I don't know, I don't know if you heard it. But, um, honestly, it probably will happen a few times in this video. But, if you can hear it, but if you can't, then lucky you. Um, honestly, I don't know what my match reaction is going to be like tomorrow. It's either going to it's it could be I'm fuming, I'm angry at the club. I want like uh, I'm I'm just a bit lost for words on the past week because well Monday to today Aberdeen Football Club has been a pretty much a shambles. We've kept our and Cormac is. A bit, I would say, a bit of an idiot. The fact that he's kept Goodwin. Um, obviously, this doesn't, this isn't really much of a preview, but like, I'm not really talking about each two teams. But I just want, like I said, being an Aberdeen fan at this moment is hard. And um, well, look, I'm, I don't. Look, I'm sorry if it just sounds like I'm waffling rubbish, but. Like I said, it's weird. This is a weird time for me. Um, I've never experienced something like this in my life as an Aberdeen fan. The past two games, um, for I was, I was actually at Tyne Castle, and I didn't do a reaction. I didn't do anything. I didn't do a vlog um, because well, I left at the fifth goal, so there was no point in me doing a vlog when I was. It was only going to be five hearts goals. Um, and I was only, I, there was no point in doing that vlog. But if I'm being honest, I, I don't know what, like I've said so many times, and I probably should stop saying it, but I don't know what to expect tomorrow. But I'll, I'll, I'm going to finish what I'm saying. Um, I've never, I think the word, this is though the, the Hearts game, I would say, I'm trying to think would be the worst defeat I've watched in my lifetime. Now, I don't know if when Celtic beat Aberdeen 9-0, that was, I, I don't think, I don't think it was in my lifetime. It might have been like 1998 or something, I certainly wasn't born then. But I remember my dad told me that he was at that game, because um, my dad's, um, he's been to a lot of games, he's, seen lots of Aberdeen, he's seen all the highs, well not all the highs and lows, but he's seen a lot of lows and a lot of highs being an Aberdeen fan. Um, I've seen, I would say, a few highs, League Cup semi-final against Rangers, that was probably one of the highest moments of my life, uh, uh, sorry, not my life, of um, me being an Aberdeen fan. Um, Worst part about that day was the fact that I got about three people behind me jumping on top of me, but thankfully I was okay. Um, this isn't really much of a big win, but the 2 0 win against Midland, where Fergus, Ferguson scored the outside the foot top corner, that was a good moment because I was pouring it down. I was drenched, and I mean drenched. I, I, I walked um, back to the car. Like I just come out, like I just bathed, I, like I'd been in a swimming pool for about five hours. I was soaking wet. I, I was absolutely drenched, and the thing that made it better was obviously we won, and had a good chippy for the game as well. Also, um, speaking of good chippies, I'm going off topic, but I did have a, um, I I wanted to actually give a shout out in this video, and this is probably this is something I've never done before, and you're maybe thinking I'm weird doing this. But shout out to the Gorgie Fish Bar in Edinburgh, who um, was the fish was, was the chippy I had before the um, Hearts Aberdeen game. That was actually the highlight of the night. The chippy I had. So I want to sh actually shout out to them because it was so nice. The chips were great. The ham like I had like a hamburger with um, like. Cr um, batter over it, it was amazing so I want to give a shout out to them and I know I might get comments in that's weird, but honestly I want to shout them out because it was great and I do recommend it and as soon as I got out there was tons of people queuing so I want to say a big shout out, it was a great thing I really, I wish I wish the best for that um, little fish shop uh, little fish and chip shop because it's amazing, anyway 
get back on topic, Kian. So, I think, um, well, firstly, Hibs um, are kind of, I said it earlier, they're not really doing the, the best right now. Um, I just, I do think we should be beating them. But, like I said, I, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So, um, I guess I should, I could, I should probably try and turn this into a bit more of a preview because I've kind of waffled rubbish at this point. But, um, I do think Aberdeen have got a decent chance and I know I'm saying that off the, and I, I know this may sound like I'm not making sense, but I do, th I don't know what's going to happen, but I do think we've got a decent chance because despite the fact we got beat by Darvel, our league campaign has been slightly better than her burning than Hibs, but obviously our away form has been dreadful. Um, so hopefully tomorrow we can try and improve our away form, get our third away win on, get a third win on the road in the in the league season. And after that, we've got two home games: St. Martin and Motherwell. Should be two match day vlogs. Um, if you don't remember, that was the. That was our first two home games of the season. Never going back to that. So, hopefully we can win both those games. Hopefully we can win tomorrow, but I don't really know. Hibs, um, which I think of players we can maybe need to watch out for. Josh Campbell's good. He's definitely a good player. Um, obviously, thank God, I'm kind of happy they don't have Nisbet. He's not that good, in my opinion, but he's would have been a bit of a danger to us. And um, not really... David Marshall probably will make him some big saves tomorrow, but I guess this is probably nothing like a preview, but like I said, being an Aberdeen fan at this moment in time, it's kind of hard to get words out of your mouth, even though I've waffled on for about 12 and a half minutes. But I hope you guys did enjoy this match preview. Put what you guys think of um, Goodwin not getting sacked, anything to do with Aberdeen in the comments. I love to have a chat with you guys. Please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for the next video on my channel.